Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Dead Rising 3. So, uh, at the beginning of this video, I'd just like to ask you, please leave a thumbs up if you even watched it, because I do put some work into these videos, and by some work, I mean I sat here for about, you know, like 10 minutes trying to devise a strategy to run through here. We're going to pick up two, uh, in like the, the course over the next two videos, we're going to go through here, pick up all four parts of the elemental staff, all four port, uh, <laughs> parts of the... Uh, Super Shout or um, Ultimate Shout, and we're also going to complete all of these challenges with gold medals, all in one go. And I just planned it out, and uh, I'd really like you guys to show at least some support for this real walkthrough. I actually know what I'm doing, so well for the most part. <laughs> First thing I'm gonna do is grab the junk car, probably one of my faves. Then take a left out of here. Just keep on going. Yeah, so I don't, I don't ask for much. Just click the like button. Even if you didn't find it helpful, I mean, still put some time in the video, you know. <laughs> anyway, enough. Let's get through here. Anyway, now, uh, do I have that vehicle push perk, or is that my other profile? No, I have it. Alright. The Roller Hawk has a lot more push. I went through here with that before, or the Turt Rig, and I was just pushing a car and it was plowing over zombies for me. Oh, go right here. Take this exit. And the first two blueprints are right here. On the right and left. Anyway, try to leave these guys alive. We're going to need them for a challenge in like a couple seconds. Anyway, run up here to the top floor. Oh, we're going to get the first part, which is the Electro Staff. Uh, once again, it just, they have all the parts with you because, you know, you may, might have found one before the other. Uh, pick up the battery first. Traffic light second. Oh, traffic light, not water cooler. Damn it! There we go. That's it. I don't know what that achieved. Oh, collector. Okay. Uh, so we got the Electro Staff now. Take our broadsword back out. Kind of find I find the light on the end of that thing a bit distracting. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, elemental staff is an awesome, fun weapon. I don't use it though. Uh, I have a lot of other presents. Anyway, right here on the map, just right across the street. Stop right here at this bloody or broken wall. From up here, we got a challenge and we got a weapon blueprint for the power shout. All you need is a speaker and a pylon. And we got the power shout. So this challenge is DIY, sucker. Get a hundred kills. I'm gonna let all these guys flock over to me first. Uh, get a hundred kills with combo weapons. Now we just picked up the electro staff, which is really good when you're surrounded. Uh, the X button shoots electricity. The Y button slams the ground. Now once we start, yeah, I'll get into that later. But anyway, this thing's pretty good too. I'll demonstrate it in a second. But let's start this challenge and let me just take a look around and see if there's any closer hordes. I hope this is enough zombies, man. No, no, get it out. There we go. No, get out the right one, damn it. Get. It's not taking out the thing I'm telling it. There we go. Yeah, this is pretty damn strong. I think I'm just going to use this. Yeah, that's all it took. <laughs> I was planning on using the power shout and everything. Didn't even need to. Anyway, that's that. Where's my junk car? We're done with this challenge. Uh, ba -ba -ba, there it is. Alright. What we're going to do is get in the junk car. Hey, hey back up, son. Try not to mow down more zombies than you need to, because... Oh! Just ran over that explosive barrel. I'm amazed it didn't kill me. Uh, oh, taking a left too early. So, once we get to this uh, sort of military block off and take a left. Put yourself right here. Time's up. Level 23. Nice. Switch back to the broadsword. Climb this thing right here. Uh, this took me a while to figure out, man. I don't know why. 
Uh, maybe it's the combination of it being dark out and I couldn't really see anything and being surrounded by zombies. But finding that was a bitch. Oh, and the fucking bears, dude. Oh, don't get me started on the bears. Anyway, <laughs> here's the, there's eight of those fucking things. Uh, here's a blueprint. Electro fire staff. So, uh, you just take out your electric staff. Grab a propane tank. And there you go. Now, this is even cooler. Uh, we're using electricity right here, you see? Press Y. Slams it on the ground. Now we're using fire. And boom. And to switch back to electricity, just slam it. Unfortunately, there's a... Uh, there's no way... Uh, there's no, like, super finisher for it, which kind of sucks. But that's okay. Uh, there's a Blambo thing up there. Blambo. If you keep walking along where I got that blueprint, you'll get the, uh, it's a dynamite crossbow. I don't like it. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like the crossbows. I just stick to my favorite weapons, which happen to be the best weapons, so lucky me. We're just driving over here to take on this vehicle challenge really quickly. It's really easy, too. I'm amazed they didn't, um sort of scale these, you know? Like, the further you get in the game, the more zombies you have to kill in, a, in the time limit. Like, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying I'm surprised. Bronze metal. Yeah, there's usually a giant horde on this bridge right here. And you just kill everything. There we go, gold medal. Now, Keep going. Now what we're gonna do? It. Okay, I got pretty far down the bridge actually. <laughs> what we're going to do now? We're gonna drive up to this barrier right here and head into the strip club right here. Um. Yeah. Let's do it. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Actually, I take that back. We're not going to the strip club. I lied. We're going to the safe house. We're going to go around. Well, we're still going to pretty much the same place. I'm going to park the car right about here. And we're going to get out, go through this alley, and I'll show you from there. There. Boom! See, so leveled up twice already. And we're gonna level up some more. It's just gonna keep coming. Switch my broadsword, because it's my favorite. Go through this alley here on the right. Just run it on through. Climb this truck right here. Making sure I'm even recording. Okay. <laughs> I always get paranoid like that when I'm halfway through a video and I, everything's going well. I'm like, am I recording? <laughs> anyway, grab this Frank statue real quick. Boom. Easy 2000 PP. Still think that's a stupid name. Here's the third part, the Electro Ice Staff. So we need to make another electric staff because you can't combine the fire and ice one yet. And there we go, we got the Electro Ice. Uh, I'm just going to drop the fire right now, because don't need it. <laughs> like I said, I don't really plan on using it. I'm just going to keep this one so I can demonstrate. Right along here, uh, you want to go pick up this gas can if you don't own one already. Just so you have it for uh, a later mission. What's up? In here. Hey everyone! Want to see this new weapon I just made? Pretty awesome! And now you can freeze zombies. What? Oh! Oh shit, hold on. <laughs> Sorry guys. I'm uh, going through this a bit quick. Excuse me. Where's the window? There it is. I almost completely screwed that one up. There's a liquid. No, that's paint can. I didn't even make the right one, didn't I? Or did I? Electro fire. Yeah, I didn't even make it. <laughs> nope, get rid of that. Throw it. There you go. Get the liquid nitrogen. 
Electro Ice! There we go. <laughs> yeah. I wish they made it so you could just, if you had all the ingredients for it, you could make it. Or is it like that? I've only tried to make like an Electro Staff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't. Anyway, here's the Ice Staff. So you can freeze them. And the cool thing about, this is like the only useful one I feel. Because the point of uh, that swing at first is to like get them back, but like when you freeze them, it'll like, you can freeze the zombies behind you, and then after they're frozen you can break them. Anyway, that's clear. I'm going to drop this thing because like I said a thousand times, don't really like it, or don't really use it. I feel like there's a lot more weapons we could use that are better. Anyway, uh, we're going to go to firearms, going to grab one, two, three, four LMGs. How many inventory spaces do I have? Uh, yeah, uh, I want to grab the Fire Reaper. Where are you? The Ultimate Grim Reaper, I meant. There we go. So, next on the list is uh, the next Power Shout upgrade and a Strip Club. We want to go right here to this Strip Club, so... Um, before we do that, actually, run out here, kick this door, nope, throw the bowie knife, damn it, there we go. <laughs> Pick up the statue, boing, it's the sound of my boner, boing, awesome, <laughs> alright, jump back out here. Uh, don't worry about that blueprint down there. Uh, you can't get it till the end, close to the end of the game, sort of. Anyway, here's the strip club. You want to land right in the back parking lot. Oh, yeah. Fuck off. Come up here. Oh, God. Don't blow up. Excuse me. There's a strip club. There's some alcohol at the bar if you want it. We're just going to run right upstairs. And here's a blueprint for the dildo gun. But uh, we're a knight. We don't have use for such barbaric weapons. <laughs> anyway, here's a plank over here on the far side. Run across that, don't fall off. <laughs> I'm terrible at that shit, I fall off all the time. Here is the electric shout. Uh, let's just make it for the hell of it. Get a speaker. Oh, okay, you know what, we don't need it, because to make the, yeah, just, we don't need it, really. There's parts to make the weapon at every turn. So, let's find the side with more zombies. It looks like it's this one compared to that one. At least they're closer. So, I'm going to go for this side. This is the right to bear arms challenge. Uh, what? That was cool, I guess. Just want to drop down in here and kill everything. Alright, got the bronze medal. No sneaking up behind me. Yeah, don't get yourself in the middle of a crowd when you're doing this challenge, because uh, what will happen is you'll start getting punched by a lot of zombies, or just roll out of it. You'll start getting a, a lot of hits on you. And when, when that happens, uh, you know, the, it'll stop you from firing. There we go, gold medal. This one's always been really close, but what, I think once we start to get chain guns and shit, that'll that'll uh, pan out and get a lot easier. Anyway, um, did I talk enough there? Uh, we're gonna go down here. Boom, level 25, man. Yes, I know, the next part to the blueprint is right here. Don't worry about that. We're going to get that soon enough. Um, we're going to head straight ahead, get the last part of the elemental staff, and open this garage. Switch back to my broadsword. Oh, excuse me. Man, I don't know about you guys. I think there's a lot more zombies in this city than... Well, actually, the last one has a lot of them, too. Anyway... 
Here he is. This nerdy guy, blah blah blah. Hey dude, what's up? Once he's done crying, you can talk to him. Skip through all of it. Pretty much he's like, I'm a nerd. How am I going to kill zombies? Is he wearing a gaming headset? He is. It looks like it. Or he's just got the wire around his glasses. Anyway, so now you got to kill uh, five zombies unarmed. Pretty damn easy. What the fuck? Are they just falling over? What's going on? Just kill him. Kicking ass. And I think we did it. Hold on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, now that that's done, climb back up. He's still gonna bitch. He's like, uh oh, I'm gonna need a weapon. Yeah. Now, we just need to pick up this lead pipe right here. And this 2x4. And make the heavy metal. If you're wondering where that is, I'll show you on the map in a second. You should have found this already, honestly. Uh, it's right in front of the garage in Ingleton. I don't like how the panning speed in this is fucking sluggish. Anyway, if here's the garage... That's the safe house. Sorry, I got confused. It's right here on top of this truck. Right there. Can't miss it. Uh, Alright, we did it! How's that for 20,000 XP? Pretty damn easy, right? Okay, so the next part we're going to is the last thing for the elemental staff. The, I believe it's the super shout? So yeah, the super shout is right here. And then we're going to beat this challenge. Or we're gonna be okay. No, no, no. Uh, we're gonna go straight across, do this one real quick, then cover the rest of these. And just cut your way through these guys. So this is actually a pretty good weapon, but it breaks pretty easily. Um, that's okay though. We're gonna get. It's actually really good against the firemen as well, if you didn't know. And um, but that's all right because. We're going to be getting something called the Defiler soon enough, which is even better against these five. Huh? Let me just test it out here. Yeah, it staggers them, which is what you want. I think two hits. Done. Let's, yeah. Get off of me, dude. Yeah, I'm going to go right in here. Bitch. What? Why can't I get... Oh, well, fuck it. Uh, this is why I wanted my Grim Reaper. It's because of this challenge right here. Nope. Throw that. The motor oil is actually going to be useful later, so pick it up anyway. Burn, baby, burn! Hey! Take out that Reaper. Get off the bitch. And just kill some zombies with a fire weapon. I'm going to put myself right in the middle of this horde up here. Oh no, my stamina. What the fuck? Oh, get off of me, dude. Not the time. Anyway. There we go. Easy enough, right? Okay, now that we did that, we're gonna go into this building right here. So... Come back here. Oh, excuse me, bitch. And you want to run up to the top floor. I'm going to get there in style. It's not really all that stylish, but... <laughs> anyway, go through right here onto this brick, or brick plank. Anyway, we're strapped for time here. Let's not waste. Anyway, you see this broken down fence. Boom! Weapon blueprint, huh? This is for the super shout. I'm not going to make it, though. Don't need it yet. Oh, come on. Fall down. There you go, Nick. 
Anyway, here's the garage. Let ourselves in. Grab a good vehicle for killing lots of zombies quickly. In this case, I believe it's the turret rig. Oh, almost forgot. We want to head around back. This alley. Excuse me, coming through. Holy shit. Man, I'm going to come here for the fist first challenge. And just jump this fence out back. There's no barbed wire. You can climb right over it. I only say that because I thought there was. I spent like a minute trying to park my uh, turret rig next to it so I could climb on top of it to get over it. And I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> All right. Electric staff. Then... Uh, if you take the fire staff or the ice staff, com either you know combine the fire staff with the liquid nitrogen, or the the ice staff with the propane, and you'll get the elemental staff. So now we can swap between all three elements. Cool, but kind of useless. Uh, I'll be using it in like the DIY ch or the challenge where you have to kill a bunch of people with shock weapons. Anyway, we're gonna go back, get in our turret rig, drive over to the challenge, get the last thing for the ultimate shout and complete that challenge and we'll be done with this city besides the story mission just taking this way path of least resistance I remember running through that horde five seconds ago it's me I love that where he cuts him in half. Anyway, get in the turret rig. Just drive straight. Try not to kill too many zombies on your way there. Because uh, we want to end that challenge pretty damn quickly. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Sometimes I love the physics. Sometimes they're retarded. Why? Anyway. Get in. We'll drive out. Okay. Not gonna come here for the fist first challenge. There we go! Done! Now we did that, come back over to where the challenge started, and jump inside this burning dumpster. It's okay, jump in on the far side, right here. And here we have a blueprint for... Dun 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 dun! Ultimate Shout! So, in order to do this, you just need to make your normal uh, power shout. And I believe all you need to do is combine it with a portable stereo. Nope. Okay, no, I think you just need to combine the electric shout. You need to combine all four parts. I'll just combine it with that. There we go. This thing is... I think it's like one of the best ways to clear a horde. Like, you can't get much better than this, especially if you use the heavy attack. Like, this thing is just powerful as fuck. This is a terrible example of it, or for it. And anyway, how far are we in this video? 25 minutes. I don't know, guys. What do you say? Uh, I make it uh, like a 30 minute part, and we complete all the challenges in El Mundo. Why not, right? I mean, I'm already, like, there. Fuck it! Let's go do fist first. Uh, where's my turret rig? I didn't blow it up, did I? No. Okay. This time I want to keep an eye out for um, giant hordes like this one that are closer to me. So I'm going to have to look around for those. Like this one right here. Because, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, anyway. 
Uh, the first thing you want to do is get this melee. This will give us more armor, and it gives us a new skill, which is very, very useful for Fist First. Uh, holy shit, I'm coming here. No doubt about it. This is the way I'm going for the Fist First challenge. <coughs> this gives us a whole bunch of new skills. Uh, the head job. <laughs> you can rip their heads out. The zombie toss, which is... Oh, wait, I've already... I've already had that for a while. I think. I don't know. Shoulder charge. Wrecking ball. Sidekick. Uh, oh, wait a minute. What's the... Where is it? This is what I want. I want to get this all the way up, I think. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, you should have enough if you complete those challenges. So now, this is what you want. Hammer spin. And disembowel is pretty sick, too. You can rip their guts out. Hammer spin is what we want. Anyway, we're going to do a shitload of damage now. Run along here. Oh, get off of me. Oh, yeah. And when you, uh, when people grapple you now, they die. <laughs> Fist first. Here we go. I want to skip past all you guys. I want a giant horde to fight. Not you scrubs. Here we go. I'm going to put myself right in the thick of it. I can't see what's going on, but I know the second I grab someone and I press uh, to the right, you can spin them around and you'll kill all the zombies around you as well. And just spin around. And you can keep doing this because you're killing zo You're building your kill streak while you're killing a single zombie. And we're done. Look at that. And let's just uh, spin around, spin around. Oh yeah. Hold on, I just want to demonstrate the rest of them. And zombie toss. Yeah, I leveled up so my health is full now. And let's do disembowel now. <laughs> My guts, not yours. Anyway, <laughs> I've had my fun. Let's complete the last challenge, I believe. Let me look around here. Last challenge. How about that, man? Like, it was only going to take like 30 minutes, and I would have completed every single challenge. No, Munda. Anyway, there's a safe house up here. I don't think it can be unlocked. Oh, wait. Yes, it can. It can be unlocked now, I believe. I think I'm going to name this like South Almunda Speedrun, something like that. 30 minutes, I've gotten all the gold medals, all the super combos, all the safe houses unlocked. Not bad, huh? Leave a thumbs up, guys. That's why I'm asking for it, you know? <laughs> it's really not that hard to do, but I put my time into it, you know? Anyway, just building my sprint back up here. Uh, I'm going to clear the safe house just because it's on the way, and why not? And I'm going to do it completely barehanded, because uh, Nick's a badass like that. I believe you got to climb this. Or no, 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 sorry. you got to climb this. Go through this window. Get off of me! There you go. Where's my kill streak? There it is. Wow. All right, no kill streak for me, huh? Anyone else? All right. <laughs> Bare fisted all that shit. Anyway, so now the safe house is clear. Trying to think. 
No, don't worry about it. We'll do that in the next video. For now, just find ourselves a nice vehicle so we can get around quicker. Let's complete this last challenge here. Really easy one. I believe there's also a cool blueprint here. Oh, the Sentry Cat! That's right. Sentry Cat. I forgot all about this thing. It's pretty cool. Get out. No free rides. Yeah, we gotta go to this building, I believe. This is the right way, right? Yeah. I thought I was going crazy. Now, this door in here is locked, so... Don't even bother. I believe there's a statue in the back, but we're not here for that. We want the challenge. We want the XP. At least I do, anyway. I should have brought a motorbike. I think you can just drive through right here. I'm gonna go up here. I believe how I got onto this was kind of a glitch. Probably not. Uh, who knows? Yeah, it's on the other side, though. So is the challenge. It's up there. Oh, come on, dude. Don't get stuck on the shopping cart. Get out of the way. I should save my game, but I won't. Yeah, just jump right up here. You should slip right up top. And up here is the Century Cat. Pretty awesome. All you need is an LCD monitor and a keg of beer. Wish I had one of those. And we got the Sentry Cat. Where's the challenge? There it is. It's on the other side. Oh, there's a statue too. I'd be an idiot if I didn't grab it because I can hear it. There we go. Jump down. Probably going to drop it. Wow, we didn't. Nice. I believe this one is just, hey, kill people with combo weapons. Or, not people, zombies. Zombies are people too. Anyway, yep. So, this is why we got the Grim Reaper. Oh, no, get the cat. This thing is pretty cool. So, it jumps around killing zombies, and then at the end it explodes. It just pounces on them. It's really awesome. But we're going to complete this challenge before it even goes off. Swinging it around. And gold medal done. How's that, man? Oh, things are going off all around me. Where's the cat? I don't know where he is. Did he go? I think he might have blown up already. Yeah, he just leaps around. Anyway. So. In about 33 minutes, I got gold challenges, or gold stars and all the challenges collected all, or I showed you how to get gold stars and all the challenges in this place. We collected eight uh, super combo blueprints, uh, which pretty much puts us at about, that's two ultimate combos completed, and they're incredibly useful and powerful, so you really want to get those before you go through the game. And in the next part, we're going to take on the story mission, which will bring us up to Sunset Hills. I'm going to go through here and show you guys a lot of the bears and stuff, or all of them, but honestly, I feel like they're really not worth it. Uh, they're good, but there's eight, it's seven or eight, like some ridiculously high number of bears, and I don't know, whatever. Well, I'll, I guess I'll do it, just for the sake of saying, hey, I fucking did it. Anyway, but well, that's that. That's myself. Almunda, or Almu Almuda, there we go, speak English, uh, speed run, pretty easy, pretty quick, and uh, you walk away with a lot, I believe I started this at like, what, level 22, level 28 now, oh, I just got more XP, 29, what do you know, other games that recorded, so, uh, yeah, how's that, <laughs> Let's see, we got seven attribute points to put into, you know, whatever. Um, I'll decide where those go in the next episode, though. I'm just going to return to the safe house up here. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And for, like, the third or fourth time in this video, please, if you enjoyed this, found it helpful, or just even watched it in general to the end, even if you thought I was fucking retarded the whole time, at least give me a thumbs up for effort. You know, E for effort. At least I tried. 
And uh, I feel pretty proud of it. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Sir Ramos approves. <laughs>